What's up, my fellow adventurers? This is Adam at G.I. Joe The Lost Chronicles, deep in the TLC bunker. So I've got an unboxing today, got a few things from my good friend Tom over at Spider Monkey Films, and I just got my new Cotswold catalog. So I thought I'd share those things with you today, so let's take a look at them. All right, guys, so um, I got my new Cotswold catalog in the mail. Uh, I always look forward to getting this. Um, it's a really a cool catalog. Uh, I'm a huge supporter of Cotswold, and I think most of all you guys in the AOA are too. Um, I think Greg does a really nice job with his catalog. A lot of things in the catalog I, I don't care for, but there's always a few items that I find very intriguing. And uh, this one is no exception. So we'll take a look inside. It's really well done. Um, I know he has a lot of vintage stuff for sale. Uh, this stuff's way out of my price range. I mean, this stuff's like two, three, four hundred dollars. Um, but very cool that, uh, that those are available. Um, we'll turn the page. These are really cool. The new Super Joes. And the, they have the, uh, the white elephant head sculpts, which are really cool. Uh, I'm digging these. Um, I'm definitely going to get some of these later on this year. Uh, and maybe build a new Super Joe team. I really like these. Uh, they're very true to the original 1977 um, Super Joes. So very cool. I like those. And another thing that has intrigued me are these, uh, these, uh, wing suits. These are awesome. Uh, they come in blue and they come in white. Um, they include the wing suit, goggles, and boots, uh, for $24.99. So I, th I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm definitely digging this one. And, Jeff, I, I think I'm going to get this one because um, I think I want to use this in our Super Joe crossover story. Um, I think that would be really cool, and I'm getting some ideas for that wing suit. I think it's pretty cool. But we'll turn the page. Um, more action sets. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, I do dig the Arctic one. I think it's pretty sharp. The pilot one is pretty cool, too. Um, but just a nice assortment of um, new figures and action sets. Another thing that really intrigued me was this. one six scale Egyptian sarcophagus. This thing is really dope. Um, as you can see, a full-figured G.I. Joe fits in there. It looks like it comes unpainted. But definitely um, going to get one of those. That looks pretty cool. And they even come with a, a mummy suit, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm also kind of digging this Explorer backpack. Uh, kind of looks like something maybe Cody would make, but that looks pretty dope. Um, may have to get one of those. But really a cool catalog. I know you guys... You probably get them. If you've ordered anything from Cotswold, then you're on their mailing list and you do get these. Um, like I said, a lot of these things are just out of my price range, you guys. I mean, four, five hundred dollars for, for figures. Yeah, I just, I can't, I couldn't do that. But very cool that you have options. Um, here's a nice selection of Peacekeepers. Um, really cool action sets. And $23.99, really bargain basement. Um, I'm kind of digging the Ranger one. Um, my younger brother, uh, he's ex-Ranger. May have to get him one for uh, his birthday or Christmas coming up. Those are pretty cool. And we'll turn the page. And a lot of nice smalls on here. And I'm kind of digging these, the night vision goggles. Those are pretty cool. Can definitely uh, see using those in uh, upcoming photo stories. It's kind of a pool, uh, cool piece of equipment. But a cool catalog. Like I said, I always look forward um, to getting these. It's just really cool. It's, it's nice that we have a, a vendor um, that offers, you know, one six scale Joe stuff. So anyway, that's that. So let's get to uh, what um, Tom 
from Spider Monkey sent me. Now he did send me his um, Joe No Joe TLC bunker build, but he also sent me a few extras, and I wanted to share those with you. Um, I got my official certificate of membership in the AOA. I think this is pretty dope, uh, Tom. You did a an amazing job on these, uh, and definitely suitable for for framing. Uh, but very nice. I hope you guys have gotten yours. If you haven't, um, be patient. You'll definitely get it. But Tom, uh, very cool dude. This is very cool. We'll definitely go on the wall right here, right above the uh, Joe flag. And he also sent me this. This is the Goliath um, G.I. Joe that he's uh, been working on. And uh, he's entrusted me to do the flocking on this. Uh, he wants a nice, traditional, like, land adventurer flocking on this. And probably um, I'm going to have to layer this probably at least two times, maybe three times. I don't know, in order to make it look right. But uh, this is just a size comparison to a vintage Joe head. This thing is gigantic. But, Tom, I think it's going to be really cool when you finish this. Looking forward to it. And I think when you get done with it, I think everybody's going to want one. <laughs> but, yeah, super dope. Super dope. Well, anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's the unboxing for today. Until next time, live free and rock hard.